Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store, and today I'd like to talk about the Canon 4x5 wood camera. Now this is a special edition that Keith loaned me. It's made of Paduke wood. First thing I'd like to show you is how to open up and close the camera. That's the hardest part of all these cameras. You'll notice here there's a little hook, and you just unlatch the hook, and on the side there's these little bars. This is for raising the rear standard, and you'll notice there's a little tiny notch, so basically you push this back this way, so it catches the notch, and that squares up the rear standard to the base. And now for opening up the front, there's a little flip lever right here, and what I like to do is give a little bit more room when opening up the camera. So about a hand width, lock it down. Now you want to take the, uh, the top of the uh, front standard, slide it all the way to the back, and then straighten it out so the front goes this way. And also over here, there's a little notch. And you want to catch that notch right here, tighten this up, then tighten this side. And then you want to tighten the bottom knob, which is your rise and fall. And then we'll tighten the top knob, which is your axis tilt. Let's, just, let's set this back to neutral. And lock it down. Now to close the camera, let's redo this. Okay, so what we're going to do is loosen up the front, all the knobs, loosen up these, loosen up these, I'm going to raise it all the way up, move this back, and you want the front standard facing downward, and then we're going to loosen the two locks here for the rear focus, and this, these should all line up, lock it down, loosen these two for the back, lock these down, and right over here the little hook catches right on here and we're all set closed. So these are tightened up. Now I'll show you all the different movements. Okay, I'm going to reopen the camera and we'll go through all the movements of the camera. Again, you loosen up the hook, loosen up these two on the side, lift this up and again the little notch that squares up the back and then the front. We're going to loosen up these little levers. These are locking levers for the rear focus. So with this camera it's easier to do it this way. Do about a hand width. The whole idea of doing this so you don't scrape the bellows, and let's open it up again. So basically slide this all the way back, and then up, and then let's lock these down. And again, these have a little notch that this fits in, so the front standard is square. And we'll lock the bottom one, which is your rise and fall, and the top one, which is your axis tilt. Let's sit this back to the middle here, back to neutral. Okay, now let's start at all the movements in the front. Okay, so you've got swing and this little lever that you pull out locks the swing so any angle you, you end up setting it just pull the lever out and locks it down so while you're using the camera you want to leave this locked and when you're folding up the camera you want to push it back to unlock so let's lock it up for now and again you've got your rise and fall and you've got your axis tilt here which is quite convenient so you've got you could tilt it and then lock it down, and you could still do rise and fall if you decide to change your composition a little bit. Let's set it back to neutral, and let's go to the rear. And we also, one more thing before I forget, we've got, push these forward, you've got base tilt also in the front. Now let's go to the back. You'll see the way this moves. When you're folding it up, again, you want these two, and I'll show you. The top one is for your swing, and the bottom one is for your your shift, rear shift. So let me show you how that works. So you got rear swing, and then you just have the lock here. And this is for your rear shift, which is kind of, you can almost shift it until the back falls off. So you just have to be a little careful. So again, let's just lock the shift. And let's work on working with the camera. So if you've got a short lens, one of the nice things about Keith Canham's cameras are the back slides forward towards the front. So if you have kind of a short lens and you've got to slide it forward a little bit, I'd recommend for speed when setting up the camera, let's say we're at, there's a focusing scale, I'll show you that in a little bit, uh, let's get it, let's say it's at 10 millimeters here, 10 centimeters on the, on the focusing scale here, go, go up to focus and a little bit past, so let's say we're at 10 centimeters, lock one and then lock the other, because you want to lock these one at a time so you don't skew the backs, so just lock one, lock the other, and then 
you could work on your focus for a short lens. It's quite convenient. And also, if you're doing a long lens and you require some of the putting some of the front out, the two locks are in the back inside. So let's just open up the front a little bit, and then let's lock it down. And then we'll do the back. Let's slide this back first. Okay, now we'll do this. And you'll notice there's a little Velcro and there's little, little tabs all along the bellows so that if your bellows droop, you could just tighten up the bellows. This camera has, I think, about 23 inches of bellows. So you can rack it out all the way here. Let's lock the, I unlocked that by mistake. Oh, actually, I wanted it unlocked. So let's get it all the way out. This is your bellows at full extension. And this is locked down. Okay, let's put it back to neutral. Let's do the front one first. And you just want to square this up with this. Lock this down. Let's unlock these. Let's move this back. And I think we're all set. Let me show you a few more things here. Now on all the Canon cameras, the front standard has two locks for your lens board. So you always have to remember you lock the bottom when you put a lens board in and lock the top. And on the wood cameras in the back, there's a locking bar just on the top alone. So if you want to change this from putting the film holder in this side, just flip it around this way and lock it down that way. And if the sunlight is coming in this way, you might want to flip this around this way. And let's just set it back to the way it normally is. Okay. Lock that down. Yep, we're all set. Okay, a few other features to mention. At the um, top of the front lens standard here, there's a little screw. This is for your compendium lens shade. And on the top of the rear standard, there's a couple of bubble levels right here. So let me refold it again, and then we'll be all set. And again, with folding and unfolding is probably the hardest part of working any camera, and it just takes a little bit of practice. And I'd recommend whatever camera you get, you want to open and close it a couple of hundred times till it's second nature. Just like when you're handing your roll film camera, you want everything second nature. So let's just unlock everything. I remember someone once said to me, you're awfully fast opening and closing the camera. I said, no, I just had more practice. So it's just a matter of practice. Again, we're going to put this down. Again, the front standard goes to the bottom. That's, and you want to unlock all these guys. Unlock the ones in the back. Let me just show you here. When you're folding it up. So let's just all the way up to here. You'll see everything lines up. And again, undo these two. Slide it forward. And then lock it down. One thing, oh, it's one thing I forgot to show you. Let's undo these. Let me just tilt this a little bit. When you look on both sides of the front standard, actually this one just right here, on one side, I'm sorry, one side there's a focusing scale, so it's always on the right side. And that's great for focusing, which I'll do in another video. Just put this back. Let me just fold it up. Lock this down, lock these two, and we're all set. I hope that helps you understand how to use the camera. Thank you so much for watching.